Hi everyone. Hi guys, it's Sarah, aka Frank's mum. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday. So, I said earlier on that I was just going to jump on and do a really short video with you guys tonight because my plans changed ever so slightly. Frankie's auntie, unfortunately she'd had uh, an operation so I was due to see her tonight and I wasn't due to do a live. Um, the plans changed and I thought I would just pop on and just kind of have a little bit of a catch up with you guys, especially if you're new. We've had quite a lot of new joiners. Give me a little thumbs up if you are on and you can hear me okay. So that I know that the sound is working. I know Lisa's on the line. I'm just trying to see everyone that's coming through. Hi everyone. Hi Carmen. Hey from the US of A. You can hear Frank panting a little bit in the background because this little monkey has been outside playing with Dabbazy with his toys. So he's a little bit he's a little bit overexcited. So I just thought I'd jump on, and this is really for the newbies and everyone who's kind of been super busy this month. Um, this last kind of 30 days. Hey, uh, the team's on the line as well. Hi, Sarah and all the Frank and Jellies team. So I just wanted to catch up really. Hi, Lisa. About all the amazing stuff that's been going on in the last 30 days and just kind of give an opportunity for people that haven't been on Facebook to ask me a lot of questions about other things that we've been kind of researching for you guys. For example, dog insurance, all the top tips that we've been doing for, um, you know, keeping your, uh, your house as cool as possible. Hey, Emily. Hey, darling. Hope your house has cooled down. I saw that you did our little, um, you know, our little post that we did with the uh, top 10 tips, 14 tips, sorry to keep your uh, house nice and cool. So uh, glad to see that you're with us and the spiders haven't got you and eaten you alive. For anybody who doesn't understand that inside joke, Frank and Joe's did a post this week where we were spending quite a lot of time. It was actually a post from last year that we were kind of growing in terms of understanding all the top, top like tips about how to get your house uh, as cool as possible. Because if you're in the UK, you know we've been having a massive heat wave. Today it's been um, a little bit cooler and Emily's still alive, which we're really, really happy to see. And one of the top tips that we put in um, uh, our kind of keep yourself and your family cool uh, post was actually something that was given to me my, by my mum. And that was something I wanted to share with you guys. My mum's had dogs her entire life. Uh, I grew up with golden retrievers in our home. And her whole thing when we were talking about the heat in the house was like, Sarah, open your loft hatch. Warm air rises. And I was like, I, I hadn't even thought about that. Give me a little thumbs up if you as a dog owner hadn't thought about opening your loft hatch to help get the heat out because I hadn't thought about it. So that was something that we included in our top post. Um, we've also been doing a lot of research about the top insurance uh, companies in the UK, looking at who's doing the sneaky introductory offers and then hiking up their prices, who's the best at uh, kind of lifetime cover and all that kind of cool stuff. Hey, Sarah. Uh, so yeah, this is just a really good catch up opportunity. So I'm just gonna kind of run through some of the stuff I've been doing over the last kind of 30 days and I'm happy to do a big Q&A with you guys if you want to know um, what recipes we recommend for you know frozen treats if you want to know how to keep your washing machine super clean and free from dog care you can ask me anything so have a think about your questions start populating them in the in the comments below and I'm going to start trying to get through as many as possible so for all the newbies that join the Frank and Jelly's uh, doggy detective group Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm Frank's mum. It's really nice to meet you. Um, I hope you've had a look at our pinned post and watched our video about how it works here. Um, if you haven't been around for a long time, this is just my opportunity to tell you a little bit about what's been going on over the last 30 days. So every week, at least every week, we have one new product that comes out that we ask the doggy detectives to test. So for the last 30 days, the focus has been on um, products to keep your washing machine lasting longer. Because let's be honest, like that's probably one of the biggest bugbears for dog owners is making sure that like the hair comes off the dog's bedding but doesn't get on your own clothes. Give me a little thumbs up if that's something you've struggled with in the past. Um, you know, getting putting your doggy's bedding in the washing machine um, or you know, and not getting it on your doggy's clothing. Can I just stop this one minute and just show the ridiculousness that is Frank, aka Neighbourhood Watch. <laughs> What's the matter? Look at him. He's such a funny little sod. I've just got to show this to you, right? Because somebody wants to go on his perch, but he's got all of Lulu's chew roots on here. So we do this live. So I'm just going to close this up so we don't get Barky McBarkerson. Come and say hello. Can we get a little thumbs up for Frank? 
my own neighbourhood watch. Who needs an alarm when you've got a Frank? He's just getting super excited because he likes to watch people out the window. And as Bruce once told me, that the reason he barks is because he thinks that when he barks and people walk past the house, he gets like a little bit of ego that makes him think that he's the one that's made people walk past. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, guys, this is Bruce Whitelaw. He's our um, resident behaviourist and trainer. Uh, we do regular live streaming with Bruce, giving you guys free advice, free advice from uh, a certified uh, training and behaviourist. Bruce has done like over 4,000 hours with um, professional kind of dog, personal like one-to-one -one training. And he's an absolutely incredible human being. You'll see him a lot in the rest of this group. So yeah, the last 30 days have been so, so busy. We've been looking at the things to kind of keep your washing machine clean. We've been diving into the insurance companies, um, who the best are, who the worst are, who are the best at paying out, who are the best at paying your vets. We've been looking at how to keep the dogs cool because obviously here in the UK we've got heat wave at the moment. Despite the fact it's been like, you know, it's been a bit cooler today, it's going to warm up again at the week, weekend. Uh, what else have we been doing? So we looked at Nutri... Um, sorry enrichment bones i always say i want to say nutrient enrichment bones but they're not so we looked at uh, the enrichment bones which were basically this product that we got from the us they've got these suction caps on there bear me a second look at him i'm sorry i know i keep distracting but how am i supposed to pay focus when he's being such an idiot come here come to mum mum what are you doing i need to give him a push up girls because i'm sorry I just can't keep watching this little boy. Come on. All right, enough now. We're talking with friends and you're being distracting and now he's going to jump down in five minutes. You know what it's like on these live streams, you know, I always make these plans to kind of go through things with you. I hope you don't mind. Frank can be a complete and utter distraction, but it is all about him. It's all about the dog. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Yeah, so uh, we had the enrichment bones that we had tested by our amazing doggy detectives. Uh, they come with these suction caps that you can put on the side of your bath and you can put on the side of your kitchen cupboard. What's great about the enrichment bones is um, they can be used in all kinds of circumstances, whether you are um, trying to give your dog a bath or whether they get themselves a little bit worked up with fireworks. So like 4th of July, like Carmen in, in the US, you know, 4th of July is a big day for fireworks in the US. Um, whether or not you just kind of like got a dog with a bit of anxiety or just a dog that's got a huge amount of energy. These bones are filled with treats and you literally put them on the side. All right, darling, go on, give mummy a cuddle. Um, and you just kind of let the dogs lick, put pate, put cheese. And we had amazing dog detectives, all who had absolutely huge success from using them. Um, and yeah, we were really, really excited to, um, to have those tested because they're not actually available like on Amazon or like anywhere in the UK. So we were really, really excited to bring those in. I think they're gonna, we're gonna see a lot more of those moving forward because uh, we're learning more and more about like, you know, the chemicals that we're using in our house and in our bathrooms. And previously, I'm gonna hold my hands up. I made the mistake of like, when I tried to wash the dogs, which luckily I've got bulldogs, so it's, you know, only a few times a year um, because of the, of the oils that it, in their coat, it's not good that they have, you know, they have a shower too often. Um, and basically, um, it was one of those situations where I was putting like sp spreadable cheese all over the bath and then someone said to me, do you actually realise, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't clean with chemicals. I don't know about you. Give me a little thumbs up if you don't clean with chemicals um, and give me a little yes if you do clean with chemicals at the moment in your bathroom. I don't. Um, that's because only because the kind of work that we do and like kind of the stuff that I'm involved with. But someone said to me, you know what, you really shouldn't be encouraging people to use squeezy like cheese in the bath because to wash their dogs because you could have residue of chemicals in there which could be quite dangerous for the dogs. Um, so I was like, yeah, okay, fine, fair enough, I'll take that point. So really, really excited to see all these amazing dogs coming through, telling us all of their stories, you know, dogs with anxiety and kind of separation anxiety or, or stress levels or just kind of general needed a bath, didn't like their nails trimmed, all that kind of good stuff. So the really big one for you newbies that haven't been involved the last month was the pet filter hair bags. So the pet filter hair bags is um, about as a bubble bag. Uh, it's made with a really unique uh, breathable material. You put, uh, it's a jumbo size, so it's like literally like, I did this stupid video. <laughs> I say stupid, it was just a bit chuck tongue in cheek when I think I actually did a live stream and got my whole body inside of the uh, pet hair filter bags. Now, like, you know, if you're a dog owner and you're a lady who likes to keep her house clean, or a man who likes to keep her house clean, their house clean, 
Um, you know, we love the dogs, but we don't love the hair, and we don't love the smells, do we? But the hair is such a struggle to keep on top of, and, you know, I don't think there's really many dogs. I think there are certain breeds out there that don't shed as much hair as others, but the majority of dogs do shed hair. You know, it gets on their bedding, it gets on you, it gets on their throws. You know, I've got throws behind me because you want to kind of keep the, your, your furniture protected. The Pet Filter Hair Bag is the only product that we found after like six months worth of reviews and kind of testing that you can actually put your dog's bedding within the bag and put it in your washing machine and you're not going to like open your washing machine to find that gunk around the side and in the silicon and you know clogging up your washing machine meaning that you're having to buy a new washing machine every couple of years that was the huge huge thing of the last 30 days so have a look if you haven't seen anything about this before like go onto the search bar on the left hand column if you're uh, using a laptop or an ipad or if you're um if you're using a mobile phone up in the top bar when you're in frank and jellies you can actually search things so search the pet uh, filter bags you'll see how many people had i think there were over 200 people 200 people that ended up getting involved in that testing that absolutely loved it couldn't stop talking about it and i think you know we're going to be seeing much more coming through and i'm not going to say too much but we found an amazing supportive product with that one that actually we think is going to remove the hair from your clothes and it's going to remove all the hair from the dog's bedding so if you think that that's something that you i'm giving you a really really sneak preview and ps my team are going to go mental that i've actually mentioned this because this was supposed to be a super super duper treat and a bit of a secret it's coming over from the us it's not going to be here for another three weeks but if you think that you might want to test something that you can chuck in the washing machine with your family's clothes that have got like the hair on them, you know, so when you give your dogs a cuddle and a bit of a kiss, you'll still get hair on it, right? It doesn't matter. Um, this product you're supposed to throw in the washing machine and it gets all the hair off. So if you think that that's something that you might be a detective for, give me a little love heart and also put hair free in the comments below and that'll be our little secret code words and whatever you do don't tell the rest of the frank and jelly's team because i will get in so much trouble because we've only just got it ordered from the us what else what came next uh so we talked a lot about lung worm and worm treatments natural um like worm and, and flea treatments the, the garlic and fenugreek powder which is something we've offered quite a while has been a huge success in frank and jelly's um it's been something people have been talking about for a really, really long time because it's also a tick repellent and we're in a season of ticks. Um, if you haven't already, the Tom O Tick Tool Twister is something every dog owner should have and it literally can fit in the back of your, your wallet or your purse. It's a really, really small tick remover. Uh, the way that you remove ticks has to be done safely. Please don't ever use Vaseline, vodka or, you know, tweezers to try and remove the tick. If you remove the tick and um, you do it in the wrong way you're actually going to basically if you cause the tick distress when you try and remove it like it could vomit with inside your dog and that's when you've got the risk of Lyme disease so that's it so that's, we've always talked about garlic and fenugreek being a natural flea and worm protector but a new product came in in the last 30 days which our detectives were testing i know tracy's just saying about how she'd love her hair to be dog free tracy was one of our doggy detectives hi tracy um who looked at the um lung worm and worming prevention and, and cure cure we can't really say cure because it's natural but like expelling of worms and uh, lung worms and I'm not saying Tracy's dogs had worms, they didn't, but this is what the product was for. So we're talking about a natural lung and worm preventative, lung worm and worm preventative. Uh, it is a fluid or a treat that you give to a dog on a daily basis. The liquid was given every three days. So yeah, really, really great product. Again, lung worm can be fatal for your dogs. Let me just stress, lung worm can be fatal for your dogs. There are websites you can go online, you can put your postcode in and they will tell you whether or not you're in a risk area. And you know what? Uh, my parents are in the Bedfordshire area. I live in South London. I typed in my parents' address and found 1,200 reported lung worm cases within 50 mile radius, which absolutely scared the Jesus out of me. So when our doggy detectives were testing the lung worm uh, prevention kits, we were like, absolutely, this needs to happen. Um, and Trace is just saying that the Vermex was so easy to admit. We were asking our detectives to test, do you like the liquid best and do you like the, um, the, uh, the treat bones best? For me personally, I like the treat bones. 
uh, for a lungworm preventative because it means I can give Frank several treats out on a walk. He feels like he's getting a treat. I know he's got his lungworm preventative, but other people like the liquids better. Um, and Trace is just saying, easy to administer. Sorry, Amos was typing there. I need to see some screenshots of Amos getting involved with the Frank and Jelly's videos, Tracy. <laughs> Tra Amos is an absolutely be beautiful bulldog puppy who we're very, very pleased to have as part of our doggy detectives. So, right, I'm going to just hand over to you guys. So you've kind of heard my spiel. I just gave you my top three. There were so many other products in the last 30 days that we tested. Some of them made it, some of them didn't. Um, yeah, what do you guys need my help with? What is the, you know, the how-tos, the what's, the why's? We've had the blog scope about the top insurance um, providers. I'll give you a little snippet. My personal advice to you guys and a insurance provider that I've moved away from is, personally, I would stay away from Tesco's. Um, and I can say that because we're in a safe forum. Uh, we previously had Tesco's pet insurance. I did it all online. Uh, I had a really reasonable price. Uh, at no point was I told that it was an introductory offer. And then when it came around to the point of renewal, we're on lifetime policies because I always uh, kind of, you know, suggest to you guys that you go for lifetime policies for your dogs because it means they're covered for life. And uh, Tesco's hiked up the price by 100%. So I went from doing £56 a month to £98 a month, which was, quite frankly, ludicrous. Uh, and when I kind of challenged them about it over the phone, I didn't talk about us or the doggy detectives. I just spoke about me, Sarah, Frank's mum. They said, oh, it was an introductory offer. You would have been told it was an introductory offer. I was like, no, I did it on the website. You definitely didn't tell me that. So... Anyway, what do you guys want my help with? Because I've got a really, really sneaky little thing that I want to add in here, but I'm only going to do it once I've had a couple of questions. I need a couple of doggy detectives to help me, and I'm going to only ask the people that kind of still hanging on and getting involved. I've got a product that needs testing. I really, yeah, I'm going to sneak this one in whilst the rest of the Frank and Jellies team aren't watching. So, come on, guys, give me some questions. What do you need my help with? What do you need some advice? How to's? What? What do I recommend? What do you guys need my help with? Do you need... Okay, should I do some leading questions? What do you think? Give me a little thumbs up if, you would, if you're feeling a bit shy and I should do some leading questions. Because I've got a product that I kind of have got about five or six units. And I promised the doggy detectives I wasn't going to deal with this. I was like, no, no, no. Like, Frank and Jelly's team, I was like, on the team meeting this afternoon, I just jumped on. I said, I'm just going to go on. I'm going to do some Q&A. We're just going to do a catch up. See how everyone's doing. And yeah, I did absolutely promise that I wouldn't do this, what I'm about to do. So please, someone just give me a question. What is the best tool for trimming nails? So Carmen, I best love, sorry, my best loved product for grooming a dog's nails are the Rosewood Nails Clippers. The Rosewood Nail Clippers have got a really great blade. It's very, very quick. It has a safety catch. And I have always managed to get my dog's nails uh, trimmed extremely quickly with those. Um, that's the best product, without a doubt. We'll do quick fire questions. Dog steps or a ramp to bed? I know, Tassie, I'm seriously, I'm going to hope my battery doesn't die before this happens, otherwise I'm going to be in serious trouble. Uh, ramp or steps to bed? Uh, I like steps, because I think it, there's less of a worry. Um, yeah. I, I would say steps to bed. Uh, I've tried some of those steps from Amazon. It's not something we offer. Ramps for me, like as the dogs get older, it's still a little bit more difficult. The steps tend to be a little bit better. That's what I would do. Next fire question, and then I'm going to give you the little sneaky secret before I get in trouble. And one of the Frankie Jelly's team starts calling my phone, going, Sarah, what are you doing? You promised you wouldn't do that. Frank, is mummy getting in trouble? Is mummy going to get in trouble? Mummy's always in trouble. I forgot to talk about this one. We'll talk about this another time. Right, come on, someone give me another little quick fire question. What do you need my help with? What do you need my help with? So we've done the ramps, we've done the steps. So, who wants to talk about disinfectant? Who wants to ask me some questions about disinfectant? I'm trying to give you some leading questions. Tracy, I'm always happy for hints and tips for anything that makes my dog's life better. Greasy croats, troublesome at the minute. Okay, quick, homemade remedy. Don't need to buy a product for this. If your dog has got greasy coats, they've probably got a little bit of a yeast imbalance, so if you can give them the immune boost, that's great. But to get the grease out of their coats, go and get a spray bottle, go and get the, I think it's Aspray, raw apple cider vinegar, dilute it with water, because I know you have bulldogs, Tracy, and spray it on their coats. It will take the grease off of their coats completely naturally. You don't even need to spend any money buying any products. 
So, Carmen saying a disinfectant for the pups. What do we think, Frank? Right, I'm going to do this because I can already see my notifications coming through. Okay, Tracy, if they're already on the immune boost, I'm sorry that Frank's panting so much. Can I just say that my husband wound him up something chronic about five minutes before we jumped on and they were just rolling around on the floor like absolute lunatics. And then I said, come on, Frank, you and mummy need to go and do a live stream together. Didn't I? Did I say to you, you had to come with me? So sport is fun. So, Tracy, if they're on the immu booster, chances are they're detoxing off of their yeast imbalance. So, I would just get the apple cider vinegar and the water and spray. Tatty, odor kill. It's not odor kill. Right, this is it. So, you know, we talked about the other day. Okay, so Heather's asking what the surprises are, so I better get to it because I can see the notifications going on in my background and I already know that's the team shouting at me and telling me off saying, You promised you wouldn't do this. You'd, seriously, I think sometimes it, it takes an army to kind of control me and Frank, doesn't it? We don't like being controlled, we like doing what we want. So, <laughs> we have got some amazing products. That I've literally got a couple of units that I was going to go and do a live in a couple of days. But you guys are joining me tonight, right? We're having fun, we're kind of chatting together, having a bit of a catch up. It's just like we're having a cup of coffee together. So, you remember the pet bedding wash that we've got, which is by the same brand as Odor Kill? Well, we've got it in the fresh linen smell. And, you know, we did the odor kill version of the, um, the pet linen the other day. Sorry, like the pet linen version, sorry, the odor kill. Well, I've managed to get hold of the same brand, but a disinfectant, which is even, like, it's stronger. And when I say stronger, I'm not talking about chemical. This stuff is supposed to be good for kennel cough, uh, aviation flu, swine flu, like absolutely everything in that kind of sense so it's not only just so the odor kills and the, and the linen version that we kind of presented to you guys the other day is really good for cleaning the surfaces it's clean, good at cleaning the floors it gets them clean it gets them free of germs but this is actually a disinfectant in terms of bacteria killing product uh, they've got five of those and i managed to get hold of some pet bedding wash in the linen scent which is ever so slightly different to the pet bedding wash that we've got so i've got a couple of those so, if before I get in the most amount of trouble that I'm probably ever going to get into trouble with in the next couple of days, um, although they'll probably fall out with me next week because I'll do something I'm not supposed to do, but you know me, I'm just having a bit of fun with you, I hope you don't mind. Um, if anybody wants to help me test either the, uh, the linen version of the natural uh, pet bedding wash, which is the same brand as the cleaning stuff that we just launched this week. If anybody has got multiple dogs or is worried of Parvo, uh, there's some people watching here with some puppies that wants to help me test that one out. Um, yeah, there's a super duper little testing price. So yeah, Tracy, I wasn't going to call you out on that one because I wanted to keep that one a little secret. But yes, Tracy, you've got puppies at the moment. We've got uh, we've got the the linen scent but it is in a disinfectant and it's supposed to help with parvo and it's supposed to help with serious bacteria. So someone like you would be amazing for it, but I'm not pushing you to apply. Anyway, so anybody who's jumping on to this late in the day, like kind of catch up with the replay. We had a bit of a catch up about like the best products, some of the blogs that we've been doing. And also, um, I know you guys probably think, what the hell is she doing? But I seriously, if you could see what's going on on my phone right now, it's going ding, 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 ding. And I know very well that that's the team going absolutely mad. So Tatty's saying that her pet bed wash has got hardly any left. So if you've had the original, Tatty, I would love if you could get involved with this testing because I want to know whether or not you love the, the linen version better than the original because it's all about what you like best. I don't want to stop both if people don't love them. There's absolutely no point in the matter. They're both great for puppies. They're all great for young children. Hi. All good for allergies. All good for little snot bags like Mr. Frank who needs to be very well looked after because he's a bit of a prince. Aren't you darling? But I've only got a couple of units, which is why I didn't want to launch it as like a proper doggy detectors one. I just asked the company, nicely, nicely, could you just give me a couple? Well, basically, could you let me have a couple at the normal price without doing like a minimum order of that volume? And uh, yeah, could you get involved with that and let me have that so my doggy detectives can have a look? So they let us sneak that one in. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. and I think I'm in trouble. So... I've really, really enjoyed catching up with you. Um, Tracy, you're there as well. Look, 
let me know guys in the comments below what would you like if anybody wants to help me test the disinfectant which is good for parve good for all the serious bacteria then comment below bacteria and then if you are interested in helping me with the alternative to the pet bedding wash can you type in the comments below wash my beds and then i know exactly what it is that you're interested in and if anybody's watching this that's friends with my team Please don't let the cat out of the bag until at least tomorrow morning, please, because I'm just having a little bit of fun with this. It's Tuesday night, I'm stuck inside, you know, it's been warm weather. We're, uh, Frank and I are trying to have a bit of fun, but he doesn't want to play with me the same way he does Daddy. So Mummy's, once again, second fiddle, because now Daddy's home from work, I'm just not as much fun. Okay, alright guys, it's been lovely catching up with you. I think we're going to do this a little bit more regularly, you know, just catching up with people that haven't had the chance to see what's been going on and... You know, maybe missed out because they've got holidays coming up. Let me know in the comments below if you've got a holiday coming up. I'm super jealous. I've got none for a long time. In fact, there's nothing booked. And, yeah, I'm going to go see what Lulu Madam is doing because she's been very, very quiet, which means no doubt she's up to no good. And I think me and Frank might throw this grubber around a little bit in the garden. So, catch up with you later. Take care. Bye.